Tourism impact. Beware that when we are talking about this term, it has both positive and negative impacts. We are about to explore the tourism impact in three dimensions: economics impact, environmental impact. And socio-cultural impacts. We are also going to explore the possible methods that we could minimize those impacts. First, economic impacts. Let's see what are the benefit and negative side of economic dimensions. Economic dimensions. The positive side of tourism is foreign exchange earnings, contribution to government revenues. Employment generation, stimulation of infrastructure investment, contribution to local economies, helping to keep business runs, and on the negative side of tourism are the increasing in price, increasing demand of basic services and goods from tourists, will often cause pike heights that negatively affect local residents. Whose income does not increase proportionately. Seasonal characteristic of jobs. There is no guarantee for employment from one season to the next. Dependence on tourism. Economic leakage. The study showed that the estimation about 70% of money that tourists spend in Thailand ends up leaving the country. The challenging thing about economic impacts is to balance between leakage and linkage. Let me explain about what they are: the leakage and the linkage. The economic leakage is the direct income for an area. It's the amount of tourist expenditure that remains locally after tax, profit, and wages are paid outside the area. Leakage can happen in many ways. Let's look at the diagram. In most all-inclusive tours, about 80% of traveler expenditures go to airlines, hotels, and other international companies, and not to the local business or workers. The money leaks in the form of dividends for shareholders. The local restaurant purchases supplies from primary and secondary sectors. Who import ingredients and machines from other countries? There, the money leaks again. Local staff purchase brand name, luxurious items, instead of using the local products. There again, money leaks outside from the local economy. The way to solve is to promote money linkage, or the multiplier effect. We should promote the money linkage. Is it the idea that every foreign currency spent by tourists circulated around the local economies, directly and indirectly? Businesses and stakeholder get a share. The other way to say is that we get, we share. Encourage the use of local product and services, so that the money remains in the destination, not outside the destination. Secondly. Environmental impacts. Let's see the development of tourism cause any changes in environmental dimensions. Environmental dimension. What is an environment in tourism? It can be divided into main aspects. First, the natural environment, such as natural forests, rivers, lakes, and mountains. Second, built environment. For example. Individual historic buildings, such as Sukhothai Historical Park, historic villages, towns, and city, considered by its age, aesthetic appearance, and historical interest, such as living old town of Nan, spectacular, such as Eiffel Tower. Although tourism is regarded to increase several negative problems, such as Depletion of natural resources, pollution, fiscal impacts. However, with appropriate good management, tourism activities can contribute to environmental protection and conservation, raise awareness of environmental value, and serve as a tool to finance protection of natural areas and increase their economic importance. Way for environmental sustainabilities are. 
Consider about the concept of ecosystem, well-being of flora, fauna, and people who live in that place. Set regulation, for example, land use planning and building control. Ensuring good practice, for example, appropriate site, suitable scales, three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle, and energy efficient. Raising awareness among tourists and industry, paying a price that cover the environmental impacts of tourism, maintaining a balance between conservation and development. Why so? There are danger of conservation because always saving or preserving can lead us to spreading resources too thinly to be effective. Tested and preferred chain over the time so the next generation may not appreciate the result of today's effort to preserve lifestyle and environment. Third, socio-cultural impacts. Tourism development can cause the change in this topic in many ways. Socio-cultural dimensions. Tourism can bring positive impacts are incentive to preserve culture and heritage such as entrance fees, souvenir sales and donations, fostering of social well-being and stability, such as fostering services or health standards to local people. Local people feel proud of their cultures. However, tourism activities can also cause negative impacts, namely changing or loss of local identity and values. With the adaptation to tourist demands, culture turned to be tourism products. This phenomenon is called commoditization. The culture is tailored to tourist time and taste. Therefore, it is a stage authenticity. Cultural clashes, it can be that the local people feel irritated to bad tourist behavior and other unethical issues such as crime generation, child labor, prostitution, and sex tourism. Tools for minimize cultural impacts are codes of conduct, do and don't, education, zoning the area, regulation and enforcement.